We are going to use AutoCAD to draw this ratchet wheel. As you can see, this also has a point symmetry. We're going to start with the center and keeping in mind the dimensions of each drawing. Uh, we have an idea that the outermost diameter is 152. So we're going to start by drawing a horizontal line that is 100 by 200 feet. So open your uh, title block with layers and then save as drawing 24. I have already done that. Go to model space and start with your center layer. Start at 200, comma 200 and then draw a line that is 200 units long and then you want to make a cross so that's going to be 300 comma 100 going up 200 and go to the object layer and draw your so the first circle diameter 90 19 the second circle diameter 38 third circle diameter 82 fourth 127 and the outermost 152 third circle we are going to change the layer to center layer and there is a circle on the top quadrant and diameter for that is 25 and that one is repeated around six times around the point symmetry and we are going to use polar array for that so select that right click and click in the center and then by default the number of items is six so we don't need to change that just press enter now we are going to create that one detail of this groove over here So first there is an angle of 15 degree angle. So we are going to go on polar, track, polar tracking and click on 15 and draw a line on center layer. Starting from the center, when it snaps to 15, and click and then go to your object layer and you can use a polyline and draw a line perpendicular snap must be on so that it's perpendicular to this line and then continue and that element we are going to polar array all around it and that's going to be 24 times Polar array and select that right click and click in the center change the number of items to 24 there is one more element a keyway 
and you can draw that with a polyline and on the side over here and that's 2.38 height and length 4.76 And then down 2.38 again. I move it, pick it from the midpoint, and place it on the top quadrant of the circle. And then move it from the end point to the intersection. And if you select this first and then trim, then you can trim that in one piece. and your drawing is complete now we are going to add dimensions go to your layout double click inside the viewport zoom extent and give it an appropriate scale let's try 1 to 30 yes that is appropriate for this drawing and lock the viewport and then double click outside the viewport go to dimension layer and add all the dimensions for the keyway you're going to use leader have your ortho off so that you can use the angle and over here change the scale to 0.125 for the text height and that size is 4.76 by 2.38 space KWY then all the diameters in your circle second circle third one fourth one the outermost one and then Angular dimension for this angle between those two lines is 15 degrees. And the angle between this line and this line is 90 degrees. There is also a diameter for the circle. And your drawing is complete. Now update the title block. Drawing 24. Backspace as needed. Scale is 1 to 30 backspace And your drawing is complete. Happy drawing!